Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are keeping well and safe. Today I'm going to be taking you through a few tips to create more realistic composites. So a number of years ago I watched the Chris Nolan film Dunkirk, absolutely loved it and decided to make my own composite which was this one here. Um, loved it so much, a few months later I did another one so it's kind of become a little bit of a series but today we're just going to look at some techniques of how I came about this uh, but also mainly to give you ideas and also making sure that your own composites are getting more realistic. So I've got a few tips here so let's get started. So if I just take you through how I've created this and I'm going to give you the tips as I go. So I started with a beach image here. I actually moved things around on the beach, did a little bit of retouching, uh, blurred the background a little bit, I think over here, added a bit of a sky just to add some drama and added some planes. So let's go into this first tip. So you're looking at focal points here. So if I go back to the finished piece here, this is my focal point, the two guys here. Um, and so this section here is going to be out of focus. I've got some out of focus parts here and here as well. So yeah, your main point, focal point is the two guys, the two soldiers. So when we add in our planes, obviously they are sharp and uh, we don't want that. So um, let's see what I've done. Let's zoom in and see what I've done here. So I obviously had that picture and I cut out the three planes there. I've added some propeller spin, which is nice just to add a little bit of movement. I've also changed the color. Now these planes have a lot of contrast in, so I've removed a lot of that, which basically takes out the blacks um, in there just makes them a little bit more hazy um, so I've added a curves a level and then um, I think that was a white I think that was just some white yeah just to add a little bit of haze on there so yeah added the blur I added the blur to that layer um, I believe it was a Gaussian blur I think and then I've actually added an overall blur to the whole image well this section here so I, I believe it was an iris blur um, which should we go to filter whoops let's have a look here filter uh, blur gallery and iris blur which just created a nice blur around this section here um, because obviously our focal points over here so all of this is out of focus so that's tip number one look at where your subject is your background and your focal point and if you've got an, an object that's or a subject that's sharp here just make sure that you're thinking about where things are going to be out of focus and the amount of out of focus as well so let's see what else we've got here so then i added in the bike and this is tip number two so when you make a selection and you add in a subject to your composite, you've obviously got a mask on um, here. So, so that was my original image. I've cut these two guys out on the bike as well. And I've added a mask. So tip number two, just make sure you've got a blurred edge on your mask. So that can be um, a Gaussian blur um, and maybe go for 0.5 pixels on that blur just so it blends into the background a little bit more um, so you haven't got a sharp edge and it's going to look really unrealistic. So that is tip number two. So let's just zoom out here see what we've got. So I added some shadow here. Um, I think the edge of the, the wheel was cut off on the image there so I've added that in. I've added some nice dodge and burn. And this is a really good tip as well. So what I've done here is I've added some color from the scene. So if you click Alt on your keyboard and then merge visible, you'll get a whole layer, which is a stamped layer of everything below it. I've gone to filter, blur and average, which takes an average reading of all those colors in that scene. Um, so then I can change the opacity to say 10% 
um, add my mask on and change that to color. So that just adds color of the overall image into your subject. So it's gonna look a bit more realistic. So in that picture I actually went for 50% um, opacity. So you'd get an image like that on 100% and I really reduced it down. So it just takes out that saturation and just makes it sit better within your composite. So the next tip is about textures and particles and just adding some foreground interest. So for this, it's obviously on a beach, so I wanted to add some sand particles and sand dust around the foreground. So I added those in. They were just PNGs um, and some textures and stock images just to add some interest. Um, otherwise, um, it can, composites can look a little bit boring if you haven't got some sort of foreground interest, whether it's leaves or dust or particles or, or whatever it is. Um, so definitely add those in and it just brings everything together. So if we continue on here, I've lightened the sky a little bit. Let's see what's in here. So this is just particles which I've added in, various stock images. Again, just to add a little bit of interest. All those are on different opacities as well, just to make sure it blends together. Now these are all my color layers. So we've got color on the subject, taking that contrast out. We've got some color in there, gradient maps, curves, color lookups, brightness, contrast, all that stuff just to give it that real um, kind of dingy and desaturated look. I then went and did some Adobe Camera Raw, added some grain, added some clarity and just to bring the colors together. More adjustments over the top. I really liked this kind of cyan feel. So more adjustments on there, various color lookup tables, color balance, selective color, etc. Next tip is adding more blur. Um, so this section here is blurred. So essentially here would be blurred as well and maybe here on the bike so I added a nice iris blur around here and then a Gaussian blur on the on top of the overall image just to blend in the iris blur because sometimes it can be quite harsh and then I just brought back in um, the original layer just to add this sharpness here so next tip which is the last tip adding grain um, which you can find in the camera raw filter. So if you go to filter, camera raw, and let's see, it should be in effects here. So you can add as much grain as you like there. I think I probably use maybe 10 pixels. It just adds more depth and just makes it, it brings it all together essentially. So to end, I think I moved the image down, added a vignette and just added some more color here. And there we have our finished composite. So we've looked at blurring our mask, adding noise and grain, making sure our subject is in focus and other elements are out of focus and also adding texture and special effects. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. I'm on Instagram. So if you want to follow me and my content, please follow me at Photoshop Fran and I'll see you in the next video. So take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon.